I was very lucky to be born with an artistic gene that clearly has been passed down through my family, through the years. I often wonder if I was actually born with a paintbrush in my hand. Um, my dad could draw. My mum and elder sister are both accomplished artists. Um, and a lot of my family are, are artistic or musical. So I guess it's been passed down generation to generation. Um, and who, who knows how far back it goes. I mean, I might have a distant relative who was a cave artist. I always remember drawing as a child, um, which is something that I was drawn to. Excuse the pun there. <laughs> um, uh, the first time I remember feeling that I was maybe a little bit different and had somewhat of a talent was when I was about seven or eight years old at junior school. My teacher was a a lovely man, big, big man, he used to sit there at the end of the class in his suit. His name was Mr. Marlow. And if you went up to his desk to ask him a question, he'd always say, Hello, Joe, what don't you know? Which always made me laugh. But one time we were asked to um, draw some animals, and I remember I drew a, a, a baby ape. And Mr. Marlow would ask me to bring it to his desk. And I'd go up, little short boy, head barely clearing the, the height of the desk. And Mr. Marlowe would take the picture from me and hold it up in front of himself and examine it. And then say something along the lines of, I, I can't believe you drew that. That's amazing. Which, of course, made me feel very proud. <laughs> and then he did that for weeks. I would keep it in my desk and he'd often ask me to bring it up for him to look at, which was lovely, and it's a memory that stayed with me. So I drew all through my childhood, um, the usual things like Walt Disney characters and other cartoon characters that I enjoyed, um, things like the banana splits, I used to draw Thunderbirds, um, World War II planes, army sort of sketches, um, all sorts, football players I like to draw, as I remember, and Bruce Lee. And most of them were done with pencil on paper. And nobody was really teaching me, I just kind of found my own way. Um, I think maybe Dad helped a few times with some, some sort of instruction and advice. But mainly it was just experimental and I just kept trying to get better and better. Um, and I would happily draw all day long. Things I remember from my childhood, uh, once my brother and I had been naughty, so my dad locked us in our bedroom. And um, me being me, it was a beautiful summer's evening and we both really wanted to be outside playing. So I guess we were a little bit miffed and bored as well. So uh, we took crayons, or I gave my brother who was younger than me some crayons and we proceeded to draw all over the wall. We drew thunderbirds, we drew tanks, planes, warships, men shooting each other. <laughs> it was great fun to have that bigger canvas. I really enjoyed it. Um, of course, Dad returned to let us out after our allotted time and was absolutely horrified <laughs> to find the walls decorated in such a way. And, needless to say, he never locked us in the bedroom ever again. I suffered with asthma as a child, so I was uh, off school a lot of the time and stuck in bed. And um, my sketchbook was my friend. So I would spend the days, when I felt well enough, drawing. Um, I remember one drawing in particular, which was a very detailed drawing of the view from the interior of a a Le Mans 24-hour race car so you could see the driver's arms and the steering wheel and the whole dashboard and then the view from the window and I remember taking all day drawing that with a pencil and I was uh, really really pleased with the finished piece and I wish I still had that one. Unfortunately I don't have any of the my childhood drawings otherwise I'd show them but um, I kept them all I had them for years and then one day I went to look for them and they disappeared and to my horror I found out that my dear old granny had decided that they 
I no longer needed them, although they were rubbish. I don't know what she thought really, but she'd put them in the bin, which was very upsetting, so I don't have anything. My mum still has a drawing or a card that I made her, I think when I was about five years old, that she, she always laughs at because it was a Christmas card, but I'd drawn tanks and uh, armoured personnel and swastikas and things on it. <laughs> at the end of my junior year at school, I had a piece of art accepted for a show at the town hall, local town hall. Again, something that has disappeared, and I can't even remember what the image was now that I drew. But I remember it being selected, and I was very happy about that. And I went on to senior school, and it was quite a poor school. Um, and I remember in the art class once, the teacher said, Who's got the good pencil? Give it to Michael. <laughs> so that's awful, isn't it? So in my art class, there was presumably only one good pencil. The other thing I remember from those days is one of my friends said to our art teacher, Sir, Michael can draw better than you, can't he? <laughs> and the teacher begrudgingly said, Yes, he can. So I, I, that was my main thing at school. I always wanted to paint all the time and draw. Um... And I tried to do, when we had to select classes, I tried to do art twice, but they wouldn't let me, so I, had, I took French instead. Um, and I went on to get a grade A, O level, um, and then without going into it, I was taking A levels and I ended up leaving the school. Um, but that's another story. Um, and then I thought I'd go to art college, because that's what I wanted to do. But I think I wasn't ready then, I wasn't... Um, confident enough I don't think um, I did try to get in but I didn't get in I didn't get a place that year so I became a domestic appliance engineer started repairing washing machines and vacuum cleaners but all the time in my spare time I would still carry on drawing and painting because that's what I love to do so that's the first part of my journey as an artist uh, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed my little animations and um, I hope you'll take the time to listen to part two which I will be doing shortly. <laughs>